Today I'm going to read you a true story. I hope you like it. Once Upon a Junko by Miss Amy Once upon a time there were a pair of juncos that decided to make a nest for their eggs in a beautiful hanging basket filled with pink and purple petunias in Ithaca, New York. Most of their fellow juncos went to Canada to raise their families, but these juncos chose to stay after the long winter. Sometime in June, the mother junco built the nest, using her beak to weave together materials and her body to give the nest its shape. She used the petunia stems to help shape her nest and filled it with soft dried grass and formed a deep cup-shaped nest. It took her three to seven days to build her nest. Since the hanging basket of petunias was hanging by a chain under the entrance to the house that was used by all the family members during the day, the mother Junko was careful to bring her nesting materials when no one was around. She wanted to keep the eggs safe from all predators, including humans. The nest was well hidden underneath the petunias. When her nest was completed, she laid three cream-colored brown spotted eggs like these. Parents probably took turns sitting on the eggs to keep them warm for their incubation period. When they were not in the nest, they were eating food. They sat on their eggs for almost two weeks while they waited for them to hatch. They waited patiently through all kinds of temperatures and all kinds of weather. One day, the homeowner returned home from a walk and the jungle parents were sitting above the planter on a chain, chirping loudly. The homeowner looked in the hanging basket and was surprised to find a nest with three little eggs. The Junko parents were defending and protecting their nest. Can you guess who the homeowner is? A few days after the homeowner discovered the eggs, it was time for the baby juncos to hatch. The first baby junco hatched on June 30th. The parents took the broken eggshell out of the nest to keep it nice and tidy. The next day, the other two babies hatched on July 31st. The babies looked pink and naked, except for some dark gray down on their back. Their eyes were closed and they moved around clumsily in their nest when the parents searched for food. The homeowner took one video each day to show the nesting process and to share with the children and kingdom kids. The Junko parents were not very happy about this since they didn't know if the homeowner was a predator or not. After a few days, they realized the homeowner intended them no harm. The homeowner was careful not to touch the babies and to put the petunia flowers back in place each time to keep the babies safe. The following videos show what happened in the next two weeks after the eggs hatched. Well, here's our little baby bird.
And it's hungry. It's lifting its mouth up for its mama to come and feed it. Totally dependent on its mama right now. Can't move, it can't see, can't go anywhere out of its nest, but it's kept safe and comfortable. Warm, the mama comes and sits on it and brings it food. There, it's lifting its mouth up again and wants some more food. Two little baby birds are two days old right now. So just like these little baby birds are focused on their mom and just waiting patiently for her to come back, we can focus on Jesus and keep our eyes focused on him. And he'll provide for our every need. He's a wonderful God that we serve. He loves us very much and takes care of us, protects us, and gives us joy. provides our needs. I can see both the little baby birds. And actually there's three in there. Did you see all three? Here's the baby juncos. There's three of them in the nest. They're getting bigger. They're five days old now. And they're sound asleep right this second. Oh, one of them just woke up and said, I'm hungry. And I noticed the daddy junco had some food in its mouth. Ready to come feed him. Mom and Dad are pretty upset when we look at their babies. Oh, I'm hungry, says. You can see the back of their bodies now. They've got legs and little claws even on their toenails. We'll leave them alone now. Here's day six. They're getting bigger and bigger, filling up that whole nest. Let's see if anybody's gonna lift their mouth up. They're getting more fur, more, I guess it looks like fur, but it's feathers. Can't see their pink skin very much anymore now. There's turning and getting black feathers. Looks like they're just sleeping right now. They don't look that hungry. See a little yellow part on the mouth? Sound asleep right now. Oh, here's the little baby birdies. They're one week old now. And you can see that they have feathers on their wings now. Two of them are sleeping with their beaks towards us. See their little pink beak and their little yellow mouth. And you can still hear the Junko Mom and Dad out there chirping away. They're getting really big for their nest. Well, here's the little Junko babies on day number eight. You can really see their <coughs> heads are big and they're Wing feathers are getting a lot bigger. 
mom and dad are still very protective of them. You can hear them. Now, if you look really carefully, you'll see the baby bird opening up his eye. See him open his eye up? He couldn't do that yesterday. Oh, he closed it. He's gonna, oh, he moved his beak a little bit. He opened his eye again. So here's the little Junko babies, and they are 10 days old. And you can see one, two, three little beaks in there. One beak for each bird. So here we are, day 11, and this one big Junko that was on, was on the top on the right, he was actually out of his nest on the edge over here a second ago, but then the parents put him back in. I guess they didn't want him to be out of the nest quite yet. So he or she is just sitting there now with eyes open, waiting for her mom or dad to bring more fruit. But they're getting really big, and they've got lots of feathers all over them now. And this is day 12. These Junko babies are getting so big. This one is sitting outside the nest. I'll see if I can show you the other two. And there's the other two that are still inside the nest. But they're all still inside the planter for the flowers. Mom and Dad have been bringing them caterpillars and little bugs to eat lately. Dad just came down with a green caterpillar. So one of our Junko babies took off today, fledged from its nest, so there's just two left. And one of them is out in the big wide world somewhere now, all on its own. Well, today is day 14 since I first discovered the Junko baby's eggs in this little nest in my planter. And as you can see, there's no Junko babies left. The nest is empty, and the mom and dad are gone, and the babies are all gone. So all three Junko babies fledged in just two weeks time. They're all gone. They're out some there, out in my yard somewhere, out in the big world. Maybe they're over there or out there. Where do you think they are? Maybe they're up in the trees up here. Where do you think those Junko babies with their parents are? They're on their own now. So the Junko mama just came back and the Junko papa just came back. And they're trying to figure out where their baby birds went. And they think maybe I know where they went, but 
I don't know where they went. Only God knows where their babies went to. They had enough feathers so they could fly away. Oh, here's a little caterpillar walking on the road. This is the kind of food that the mom and dad Junko were collecting for their babies. In fact, I saw them out there this morning. Even though their babies aren't in the nest anymore, the mama and daddy junkos were still collecting caterpillars. After the fledglings took off from the nest, the homeowner spotted both the mother and father junko collecting suet from under the feeder and flying off with it. Then, a few minutes later, they would return and get some more suet. Now if you look very carefully, you'll see a little black bird down in the ground there. And that's the daddy junko. He's underneath the feeder. He's collecting little bits of split. There he goes. He just flew away. And I was going to take that suet that fell down from that bird feeder under the ground. And I'll take that suet over to his newborn fledglings that are living in the woods now. The homeowner thinks the parents are continuing to provide food for the fledglings, their babies that can fly now, until they can find their own food. The Junko parents show great love for their babies. They are great parents, providers, and protectors of their young. So if you listen carefully, I think you'll hear the Junko, either the mom or the dad. They're in the woods way over here on the other side of my house. And they're still protecting their baby. Taking care of those three little, cute little babies. What great parents, what great protectors they are. Just like God that loves us and protects us all the time. Junko parents are going to keep on protecting their babies even though they're out of the nest. I'm going to teach them how to eat and catch their own food and give them a real good start on life. The Bible tells us how God protects us just like the Junko parents protect their young. David asked for God's protection in Psalm 17, 7 and 9 when he says, Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand, those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Do you know that God always sees you and protects you in the shadow of his wings? Psalm 91, 1 and 2, and verse 4, David tells more about God's protection. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. Dwelling with God means obeying and remaining with Him. God wants to protect us. Do you obey God? Do you trust Him? Is God your refuge? He wants to cover you with His feathers and provide refuge for you under His wings. Matthew 23:37 records what Jesus said to the Pharisees about His desire to protect them. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks under her wings, but you wouldn't let me. God is willing to protect us, but we must do our part. 
Are you willing to let God protect you? He loves you very much and wants to provide for and protect you always. Once the fledgling juncos can find food on their own, their parents' jobs will be a little easier. They will remain together as a pair for the rest of their lives. Hopefully they will stick around Ithaca through the winter again and maybe even raise another nest of baby juncos next year. The end. I hope you liked this story. See you next time.